Thanks for having us, by the way. Appreciate it. It's, it's interesting to hear other schools talk about it because um, we took a almost completely different approach. We took 30 teachers with like a three hour training that we did two days before school starts and stuff so that could say go. Um, we do ours based on uh, every, we do it every single day. We have what we call tribe time, we're the Goshen Warriors, so we have what we call tribe time, we're in our tribes. Um, 30 teachers do this, so we have 30 tribes. And you have the same grade level in the class. So I teach eighth grade, um, but I have a sixth grade tribe. Um, which for us, we thought was important because we're gonna cycle with these kids for three years. So those 17 kids that I have, by the time they're eighth graders, I will know so much about them and they will know so much about me. It also provides uh, a person 30 minutes a day that can be an advocate for them. I'm not in their context with their classroom or their math or their science or whatever they're doing. I'm more of an adult that's on their team. Every teacher has a wanted poster outside of their classroom um, and they're wanted for their signature strings. Um, and so every student that's in that classroom knows the signature strings for their teachers, the teachers are talking about it, using that language, I have mine on my desk, just like um, the, they were talking, Steve and um, his assistant were talking about here, you know, we're having conversations about what my strengths are, what their strengths are, how could they have dialed them up more, maybe if it's a negative situation. Um, and I do have for you, that I'll pass up when we're finished, a uh, sample of the kind of, I don't want to say necessarily lesson plans, but the guide for the semester that was given to the teachers with what lessons are happening, and just so you can kind of see the setup for that. On the way here, actually, yeah. we had a great conversation about one of my students who had been at school, we moved away, um, he just recently came back, a lot of family issues, major issues, things, and uh, Mrs. Ryback, Kelsey, had um, a great conversation with him, made a great connection that honestly, he and I get along. I don't have any problems with him as far as that goes. But the connection she made and the things that he said to her, I don't think he would have said to one of us. Because of that time and those conversations that we are able to have during our tribe time. So I mean, to me, as a dad and as a teacher that's been in the system for 21 years and, and seen kids fail, I think this is an opportunity to really pull those kids up and hopefully keep them front fail. Give them that structure that one person at least in the building that, like uh, Jake said, always has your back. And sometimes that means jumping on your back. <laughs> this first boy up here, we didn't include his name. He's had a lot of office referrals in sixth and seventh, eighth grade. He had a very rough couple of years. Now in eighth grade, he um, has only had maybe one, just involved in one situation that was cleared up very quickly. And when he was asked, he said, understanding the 24 character traits has helped me more mature and become a better man. It was insanely powerful to read this. This is the same student um, just a couple weeks ago. One of his friends was getting in some trouble in the hallway, and he just walked around and said, prudence, show prudence. And then just kept walking. And he wasn't doing it to show off. He was genuinely telling him, like, have some control. Think about what you're doing. Like, you're going to get in trouble for the basketball team. Like, close your mouth and just keep walking. I didn't have to say a word, the situation was solved. We're like, oh, this is why we're doing what we're doing. Um, another boy in there that's also had a very interesting couple of years said, it's helped me learn responsibility and how to treat people and what choices I should make. That's the key. Like we wish all middle schoolers would take 10 seconds before they say something or make a choice. And that's what the traits have done for us in our building. Some of my sweet, sweet sixth graders a uh, one sixth grade boy who skips my tribe time the first day because he saw another teacher passing out candy. He knew he was supposed to come to my room, but this is the type of kid we're talking about. The second day of school, I was really nice, like, did you not know where my room was? Oh, I knew where it was. It's just this other guy's passing out candy. He didn't know I wasn't supposed to be in his, so I just went in. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know, so that was how we started the year out. But he said, talking and learning about the 24 character traits has helped me see what traits stand out in other people. I would have never thought he was that reflective to see it in others. He's also one that Melissa was saying some of them don't resist it, but don't participate as much. He's coming to an understanding where he watches everything. He's not always going to participate. But now this proves he's taking it in. That's fine if you just want to sit and observe. But it proves that it's working, right? Because he said that, he would have never said that at the beginning of the year. I'm so excited to have a couple more years with him to help him. I think by the time he gets to high school, he's going to be such a better person. And we're so appreciative to our admin that Wendy like, took a chance on this and that she believed in it. And our staff, it might not be all of them, but slowly everyone has seen the positive change. 
And if you're even thinking about this, give it a try because it's already changed. We're only a semester and I can't believe what our school will be like in just a couple years. And we're grateful for the training this summer. We really appreciate it. It has changed everything.